I want that heavyweight title back. I want to be the heavyweight champion again. Um, I was hoping that um, Vitali would uh, be a man of his word and uh, fight me after I did what he and his team asked me to do, fight Derek Chisora if the winner fights uh, Vitali. Um, that obviously didn't happen. He chose uh, Manuel Char over myself. Um, yeah, of course there is. There has been since, uh, you know, straight away, you know. You know I, I know what I'm capable of, you know. I've, I'm in there every day. I'm... I'm, I know what I'm, I've got to watch back my sparring. I've watched my fights. You know, I know what I'm capable of. Capable of. And um, you know, occasionally, you know, fighters underachieve. Sometimes they don't perform at their maximum. No, it was one of those nights. You know, very, very rarely does that happen with me. And I, I never anticipate having a bad night and not getting it right. But you know, it happens. And you, once you accept it, embrace it, and make sure it doesn't happen again. And um, that's the mindset I'm in. You know, make sure you know, whatever wrongs. Uh, need to be right, righted, and um, that's that's what, that's what I'm gonna. That's what I've done, and you'll see. And you saw in the Jazora fight, you know that was that was the the old haymaker, as everyone was saying, was back. And you'll see once again, whoever the unlucky uh, soul is that's uh, been left, gonna be left in the ring with me on that first bell in the, in the Manchester Arena, you'll see some more of that magic. You know, I'm healthy. I'm happy. I'm in a place where I believe I'm, I'm, I'm a couple of fights away from putting myself in that unavoidable mandatory position to one of the uh, the Kilichko brothers. Um, whether <laughs> once I am in that mandatory position, whether they fight me or not, then remains to be seen. But it will then put the spotlight on why they're not fighting me.